Hi Leo, Aries and Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's your upcoming good news. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 28th of May 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 5.48 p.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. If you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you. Even if you're dealing with the same signs, spirits and angels, please show me for Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. What's the upcoming good news? King of Swords. Hmm. I like to see the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands for me is good news for movement. Um, something very passionate. Could indicate travel as well. Right next to it is the Chariot in reverse and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Some good news in regards to travel. And especially for those of you, if there has been some delay in your travel plans or... It could be related to work, could be related to love for some of you, but some good news in regards to some travel. Uh, it could also look at the high prices here. Good news in regards to your visa, visa work permit, because the high prices carries a lot of information as well. Um, something that I feel you just have to wait for a result to hear um it's an outcome that's what i'm seeing here an outcome you've been waiting for in regards to travel or a big change in your life right well the fortune chariot the high prices you know these three are major kind of same goes to the devil i think this would come as a good news because you may not feel too positive about it because there have been some delays but also the devil is something very obsessive so some of you may have been obsessively thinking about this news that's supposed to come in and you may be feeling pessimistic about it but the high precision of page of cups indicates yeah page of cups is a bearer of good news as well because page is a messenger cup there is an offer here either good news in regards to an offer good news in regards to something that's being going to be approved good news in regards to your travel plans visa permit um yeah the world is also a traveling energy for me it could be your applicate a job application application overseas or some sort of application as well um any sort of application, that's what I'm trying to say. We've got the Five of Swords right here, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you, this may be related to work, to money, or relocation. Five of Swords, maybe you have competition. Um, maybe it's not that easy to get approved. But you're going to be approved for this, okay? So it's like, you know, five of swords, they are, these people are supposed to be, like, fighting with each other, but these two actually gave up. This person won. So you're going to win something. Um, or maybe there are a lot of competitors. Could also good news in regards to something that you could, could be competing. Like, a lot of people are vying for that job, for that role, for that position, for that... Um, price okay yeah let's see more it's like this energy where like i, I cannot do anything i just have to wait for an answer so if you've been waiting for an answer or even to it may not be something legal but it could also be something passionate it could be related to love 
good news in regards to someone offering you love perhaps with the page of cups here this person could be a Pisces, cancer or scorpio could be from a past person but also could be from a new person okay because page is young then the devil the world in reverse and the rule of fortune in reverse can indicate something from the past something that's stuck from the past as well so you may hear from this person from your past or you may hear from someone new who may have a crush on you secretly has a crush on you and may tell you how they truly feel about you um yeah this person could be a pisces cancer scorpio could be a virgo capricorn taurus five of swords maybe this is good news to you because you may also have like interest in this person maybe this person has other options or and you've been kind of playing your game very pretty well and then you you're gonna get the attention and they may tell you like they're actually interested in you okay <laughs> very specific that's just for some of you not all of you got the king of swords the sun and mercy again this energy like the reason why i feel like this could be a good news because you may not have really good feeling about it you don't think you're gonna win it you don't think you're gonna get what you want but you're gonna get it okay again it could be in a form of a legal situation again visa permit um competition travel money career okay queen of cups and world first king of swords yeah, I see you defeating your enemies or defeating, like, just basically winning something here, okay? But then you, you're not too, it's like, you're confident about it, but also you have doubt in regards to making this happen or winning this. Okay, let's see more. Yes, yeah, so I'm not surprised to see the moon. The moon can indicate doubts. Some of you may have doubts in regards to this movement with eight of wands, the high priestess. You've been silently waiting, quietly waiting for some sort of, again of an approval or being chosen or winning something here. Ace of Cups in my first, constantly thinking that maybe I'm going to be rejected, maybe they're not going to approve it, or this person is not going to pick me, it could be any of these things. Queen of Cups here is in my first. Yeah. I don't know why, it feels like your gut feelings may have told you, like, but it feels more like a paranoia sometimes, like for myself too. Um, I'm highly intuitive, obviously, because I'm doing tarot reading, but also at the same time, I can get myself mixed up with my paranoia and my intuition. So some of you, you may get these two things mixed up. So sometimes you may doubt yourself, and then sometimes you may feel kind of confident about it. So it might give you some sort of mixed signal where sometimes again that you're gonna doubt yourself sometimes you feel confident like I'm, I'm on the right track so the good news would be like eventually eventually you're gonna find out that you you have been on the right track okay and then we've got the five of cups here my first so all hopes are not lost you're gonna feel much more hopeful the king of wands in my verse this is you see you've been feeling as though like ah uh, i'm not gonna get this this is not going to happen. Again, the moon, pessimistic energy. Ten of swords in my verse. Maybe I should just give up. Maybe I should just forget about it. But good news is, you know, if you, if you don't give up, that's what I'm seeing. If you don't give up, you might hear something good that's going to come out of it, right? Eight of wands here. Because you've, you've waited for it. You've studied for it. You've strategize for it right five of swords you plan you've been planning there's something you've been planning you've been strategizing you've been waiting it's something big because the devil here feels like it's something that you obsess about that you can't you feel very tight to it you feel very connected to it or that you feel like you want it so badly and you're gonna get you're gonna get what you want okay all right leo aries sash this is your reading Hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. 
I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. <laughs> description box below. I'm such a lazy talker, don't I? I have a friend who used to tell me, why do you sound so lazy every time when you talk, even though I don't feel lazy? I don't know. This is the way I, I speak, like one-to-one. -one. Unless I'm speaking with like a whole group of people, then I might, you know increase my volume but usually i'm just chill i just talk like like this <laughs> but anyway hope you don't mind um if you like to be notified every time when i post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button i also do live streams so don't forget to also again hit on the bell notification button because i don't yeah basically give like five minutes notice before i go uh live and anyway, take care. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.